Welcome back to this video series about the NCSPN clinical judgment model, where we explore and see how the clinical judgment model applies to the NCLEX exam and the case studies that you will encounter on the NCLEX. In this video, especially, we're going to take a look at item number three of the case study format, and that pertains to analyzing the cues and we can also see or relate this back to the nursing progress a process to the nursing diagnosis or problem identification phase. So let's go ahead and take a look at our particular example that we've been following. So here we are at item number three of the same question that we've been following. We've already looked at the history and physical in items one and two. In addition to these findings now, we have some lab and diagnostic results. So let's go ahead and look over those as we would in a regular chart. And with a brief look over the lab values, they're all within normal limits. And then for diagnostic results, we have a CT scan of the head without contrast that shows no areas of hemorrhage are noted. And in the history and physical earlier, we determined that some of these findings were highly suspicious for the patient having a stroke. So now looking at the labs and diagnostic results, we should be able to identify that this patient is not having a hemorrhagic stroke, but most likely is experiencing an ischemic stroke. Now we've ruled out the hemorrhage. Now, and over here, it goes into the question. The nurse has reviewed the information from the lab and diagnostic results based on the clinical data which condition should the nurse suspect? So now we're analyzing the cues to come up with the problem and identify it. And here we have the ischemic stroke. Now, remember, you always get an explanation as to why the correct answer is right. And it goes into a little bit of a review here. And then you always get an explanation of the other options, what they are and why they apply or don't apply in this case to this particular question. Now, on the bottom here, we have also what category in the NCSPN's uh, client need that falls. And in this case, it is physiological adaptation. So we're here in the analyzing the cues phase and make sure to check back where we analyze and go further in this case study into the other questions and review how it relates to the NCLEX exam. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video.